types of sickness in fasting. 1. A disease that is not expected to go away. The elderly who are unable to fast also fall into this category. They do not have to fast, but they must feed one poor person for each day. Either they gather poor people according to the number of days and feed them lunch or dinner, or by distributing food to the poor according to the number of days, giving a quarter of a sa' to every poor person. According to the sa' of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, i.e. half of a kilo and 10 grams of good quality wheat. Additionally, it is good that along with that, they give meat or fat. The second type of sickness in fasting, a sickness that is expected to go away and fasting with it is difficult. Those who fall under this category are menstruating women, those experience postnatal bleeding, breastfeeding women, and the one who is traveling. When they recover, they should make up the number of days that they missed. If they die before that, then the obligation is lifted from them. What confirms the month of Ramadan to begin? Seeing the new moon of Ramadan or by the completion of the three days of Shaban. Things which invalidate one's fasting. 1. Eating or drinking intentionally. So whoever does that forgetfully, then his fast is valid. 2. Sexual intercourse. If one does it during the day in Ramadan while fasting is obligatory upon him or her, then the prescribed expiation becomes obligatory, which is freeing a slave. And if one cannot, then fasting two months consecutively. And if one cannot do that, then feeding 60 poor people. 3. Ejaculating. If it is done directly or through kissing, hugging, etc. 4. That which takes the place of food and drink, such as nutritious injections. If they are not nutritious, then it does not break one's fast. 5. Extracting blood. If it is done through hijama, cupping, as for extracting a minute amount of blood for a checkup, etc., then it does not break one's fast. 6. Vomiting intentionally. 7. Release of menstrual or postnatal blood.